<laughs> my God, my God. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is one of Hollywood's most demanding young talents yes. with the roles in blockbuster films like Star Trek, hmm. Jumanji, and Welcome to the Jungle. Please give a sister circle welcome to Sidarius Blaine. Clap <laughs> it up, clap it up. Hey, Sidarius. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hey, Sidarius. Hey, Sidarius. Want to know it? Thank you. Have a seat. Have a seat. How are you today? Doing all right, man. Peace up. Yeah. Hey, down. Down. Look at you. You are really making. I mean, you. You are really. I know. We just had a moment. Look at you. Look at you. You are really making moves. I'm just. I'm serious. You're really making moves in all these movies. I watched you the other day in Jumanji myself, and I looked at the talent. I was just like, well, where he come from? That's a new face, and I really like that. We see in Hollywood that African Americans are now getting more opportunities, yes. you know, yeah, and, and yeah. you've worked, I mean, you, you, you start, um, you starred in Shameless, which yeah. is one of my favorites. Yeah. I, I didn't see you in that movie, I mean, yeah. in that um, show, but you starred in it and then Vampire Diaries and Survivor's Remorse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you always have the acting bug? You know what, on, on the low, I did. Like, secretly, as a kid, I always kind of, uh, you know, wished that I could do it, but I was the shyest, like, most introverted kid ever. Really? Uh, yeah, so I was a biology major. Uh, instead, I always wanted to be a doctor uh -huh. as well, so mm -hmm. I was like, you know, it seemed like kind of a safer track to go. Mm -hmm. But in the back of my mind, I always wanted to act. And oh. when I was 12, I got an opportunity to do that uh, in a play that my mom wrote and directed wow. with me. We uh -huh. both How wrote cool it together. And so. That was kind of like my start, and the first time I ever stepped on a stage, like I got to be someone else, and it just. Yeah. You know, how was it working with mind. your mom? Was she like, "That's not right"? No, that's not how you say it. It was actually great working with my mom um, at that time, you know, um, <laughs> because she she was a performer herself. You know, my mom was a recording artist uh, in the '70s and '80s. She was signed on the same uh, label as Prince. Oh wow! As well. So she kind of always had the performance bug as well, and always kind of wanted to act. So she was like really excited that I was taking interest in something yeah. that she was interested in yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, let's keep yeah. it on the family track. Okay. Uh, one of your Instagram posts, you mm -hmm. talked about your son and how yeah. he saved your life. Yeah. How? Yeah, well, you know what? I had started kind of engaging in a lot of self-destructive behavior in my, mm -hmm. my, my mid-20s, mm -hmm. uh, you know, due to some, some past hurts that were, you know, suppressed and stuff yeah. like that. And yeah. uh, it made me become someone that I, that I really wasn't. So mm -hmm. when my son came along, he taught me compassion and forgiveness. Um, and he was literally the image of love. And so, wow. you know, I had someone to, to kind of pour my love into and it was it was therapeutic, you know, yeah. his his touch, his gaze, just, mm -hmm. it changed my life. You, know? you think he yeah. helped you to be more vulnerable? Absolutely, yeah. definitely. I mean, some of the roles that I've done since he's been born, I couldn't have done before he was born because I didn't have uh, that type of love displayed to me in, in, in my life before. And so wow. it definitely uh, opened up new vulnerabilities. That, uh, the Chicago PD episode that I did, which is still like their highest rated episode, uh, where, you know, I lose my six-year-old son. I wouldn't have been able to connect to that had I not actually had my so son. So you yeah. channeled that whole... Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Even thinking, even going there in your mind, you were able to Absolutely. perform. Absolutely. always have to pour our life experiences into our work, and that, that's kind of what I teach as well. So, yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Uh, speaking of kids, uh, the Kids' Choice Awards, the yeah. 2018, they named Jumanji uh, Best Movie. What's mm. it feel like when the, when the children recognize the greatness of a film like this? Kids are honest. They yes, never they lie. Are. So, uh, you know, when you win something from, from children, Children or black folks, you know you did something. <laughs> <laughs> Children or black folks. But, uh, yeah, it was yeah. a great, great opportunity. Uh, Mike Tyson was actually sitting in front of me. He turned around and he was like, hey, I, I really loved your movie. You, you were awesome. <laughs> and I was like, Mike? Yeah, okay. yeah, I was like, yeah. I will never watch this hand again. Right, wow. right, right. So well, it, was, it was a great time. Good, yeah. good. Mm -hmm. You played Fridge. We talk, we're talking about Jumanji. You played mm -hmm. Fridge, young mm -hmm. Fridge. Mm -hmm. yeah. How was that working with Kevin Hart, and what was your experience with promoting the movie? Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin is a worker. I've said it time and time again. Kevin and, and uh, Dwayne and, and uh, you know, Karen Gillian, all of them, uh -huh. they work extremely hard. Um, you know, I thought I was a hard worker until I got a chance to see them. And, wow. And you know, they're running around. He's probably on the phone with Will Packer right at the now. same time. Right, Just right. This guy's running around doing six and seven jobs at one time and still mm -hmm. able to come to set and be you know, completely engaged mm -hmm. and bring an incredible amount of creativity. And so um, I aspire to it. I've actually started waking up an hour earlier than I was before since working with him and, and The Rock. And I mean, you can check my Instagram. I'm up at 5 a.m. every single day yeah. working mm -hmm. on it because you know, these, these guys have that staying power and I mean, they are one in one A at the box office every yeah, single that's time. True. So yeah, that's yeah. true. I want to be like them when I grow up. But yeah, I when you kind of don't want to grow up at the same time. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, no, no. I love it. I love it. Uh, speaking of working, <laughs> yeah. what is working in your favor? Favor 
Uh, what's next for you? Uh, I actually just started working on uh, the reboot of Charm on the CW. So oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to be living in Vancouver for like half the year. I just got back last oh, just week. Just living from in Vancouver that. for half yeah, the year. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Just hanging out. <laughs> All the, the Canadians up there. Yes. You know, just in case we self destruct down here in the U.S. Uh -oh. Anyway, uh -oh. another subject. But I right. um, I'm, I'm also have a movie coming out called The Last Full Measure with Samuel L. Jackson yes. and there is Christopher Plummer, Sebastian Stan. So, uh, it's a Vietnam War biopic uh, that is based on a true story. So that'll be out wow. in uh, September uh, yeah. at the Toronto Film Festival. So Good. I'm excited. I really want to talk to you really quickly mm -hmm. about um, you have what what you call acting intensive, mm -hmm. um, where you actually talk and teach um, younger actors and actresses. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that. Not just younger ones. I mean, I have people in there that are twice my age as well. But uh, I teach an audition um, acting intensive. Uh, we're doing like a little tour around the country right now. We did LA just now. Um, that's why I'm here in Atlanta. I just did it over the weekend. Oh, uh, I'm just trying to provide uh, actors with the tools that they need in order to succeed. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that it's important to, you know, quote unquote, send the elevator back down. Yeah. You know, a lot of times people have dreams that they think are are inaccessible, but it's just because they don't know how to approach them. And so uh, I'm true, teaching yeah. them uh, proper camera techniques and how to break down their scripts and how to, how to live their dreams, you know? Yes, because so, you are uh, living yeah. your dreams. Sir, like it's golden. I'm trying, I'm yes. trying. You've been I'm listening trying. to a lot of Jill Scott, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so New York and Chicago are next. New York yes. and Chicago oh, are next. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, we yeah. thank you so much for visiting, visiting us here yes. at Sister mm -hmm. Circle. You're always welcome. For more information on Sir Darius, make sure you follow <laughs> Sister Circle TV on all of our social networks.